Thanks for joining me for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I've got a double IPA, something I love, obviously, uh, if you know me. Um, so this one is by Spiteful Brewing. Spiteful Brewing's out of Chicago, Illinois. I believe I did their regular Spiteful IPA on one of these videos. So if you're interested in finding out what that's like, go ahead and look for it. Anyway, uh, this double IPA is called Working for the Weekend. 7.9% alcohol by volume, and as you can see, it's got a pretty fun label. Uh, it shows every day of the week as you are working for the weekend, so you feel terrible and like you're melting on Monday, and then gradually you start reforming shape, basically, and then Friday you feel so good because guess what? You worked for the weekend. So there you go. Let's go ahead and pour a little bit of this sucker, plus love. 16 ounce cans, perfect amount for what I like. All right, so let's get a little bit of that in there. Turn it so everyone, oh look, so beautiful. Looks like an Imperial IPA, very orange. Um, nice bubbles uh, coming off the bottom, pretty large, um, pretty see-through. Well, it's, ooh, wow. Mm, lots and lots and lots of grapefruit, like deep grapefruit scent. Ooh, a little, um, I feel like they have to have had to have used mosaic in this. I get a very specific mosaic. Maybe a little bit of Simcoe with a, like a slight vegetal aspect in there. Not quite pine, but a little bit of earthy vegetal aspect. Lots and lots and lots of grapefruit. A little bit of a caramelly backbone from the malt in there. This was really good. Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, I get a lot of um, a lot of kind of like a tangerine flavor in the in the in the um, oh, flavor, uh, and there's a bit of a peach snap at the end of it, which tastes really good. Getting some grapefruit in there. I'm getting a little bit of that kind of vegetal aspect I was talking about, a little earthiness to it, and a little bit of that caramelly aspect. Um, the bitterness is more than I could perceive on the nose, but it's actually pretty good. And 7.9% alcohol tastes about that, so it's not inappropriately flavored for what the ABV is. Overall, pretty nice beer. Um, I, this may be like the third thing I've had by Spiteful, and all of them have been good, so. Oh no, I think I've had actually four things by Spiteful at this point, but um, have not been disappointed, so Spiteful, good job. Keep cranking them out, and everybody, thanks for checking this episode out. Go get yourself an awesome beer. If I could turn this off.